Hans Marshall get there again. Yes, he has. It's an even better start than the first one. Zegar tries the inside now. Will he close the door? Oh. Smarshlik has the lead. It's Matty Zegar second. Christoph Kasperzak in red coming around the outside. Jepsen Jensen at the back and they're all bunched up. But Bartosz Smarshlik is on the verge of something special as Kasperzak comes back for more. Fabulous race going on behind Bartosz Smarshlik. The youngster comes storming out of game four. Bars himself to the front. Zegar back in the second place. Brilliant move from him. Kasperzak pushing all the hard. Jepsen Jensen now around the inside. 19 years of age. Third on the roster in this Grand Prix two years ago. Can he now finally pick it up on the win on the night? Into the last lap we go. We have never had a winner of a Grand Prix this young. Bartosz Marsnik on the verge of making history as the youngest ever winner of a Speedway Grand Prix. Bartosz Marsnik, remember the name. Brilliant stuff from Bartosz Smarslik. Fabulous away from the start on the outside. Dreamland once again has ridden out of his skin this evening. He's made a beauty off gate number three, but so has Lindbeck back off the inside. Now Smarslik coming through in yellow, and it's a one-two for the Swedes at the moment, but Smarslik's coming on strong. Can you believe this from the outside gate? Antonio Lindbeck has the lead, and now Lindgren coming through again. They're all bunched up. Which way is this going to go? Smarslik now riding hard. Lindbeck's got to be careful. Smarshlik comes on strong. Oh, oh! Janowski out of control. Somehow Lindbeck is still in front. Lindgren's there. Smarshlik is riding out of his skin in second place, but not for much longer. Lindgren now through in the second place. Smarshlik neck and neck down the back straight. Lindbeck in front. Oh, my goodness, this is going to get tight. Yes, going into the last lap we are. Is it going to be a Swedish winner? Or will Smarslik pick the pocket of Antonio Lindback? Here we go. Here we go with one big oh. slope around the outside. Lindback staying on the inside run right? and Smarslik's oh, done it! Done it. Smarslik's done, done it! Oh. oh my goodness gracious me! Smarslik stuns and silences the Swedes with a stunning move around the outside. Well, that is one of the most amazing rides in the final to steal the victory. Smarslik's going to hit the front early on. Smarslik has got that lead and he's looking convincing here. Wapping in his second, third is Greg Hancock. Bartosz Smarslik holding that advantage right now. And he's been brilliant oh. all night. Hank Wapping and trying to close that gap. He hit a bit of a run there. Hancock is in third place right now. And Janowski is at the back. Wuffington will try everything, but Smarslock is looking superb here, Cal. Yeah, great start from Smarslock on the inside. Wuffington chasing hard. Janowski all out of shape as he got to the first corner. Wuffington pushing hard. He's keeping Smarslick right up to his work. Janowski now getting round the outside of Greg Hancock. Can he see himself through into third place? Smarslick with a lap to go. Wuffington in second place, but I think Smarslick's going to do it. Smarslick's getting up here, no question. It's a terrific ride from the pole. Bartosz Smarslick of Poland wins the British Grand Prix. Many congratulations to Bartosz Smarslick. He is fully deserves to win on the night. Just dropping two points out of seven outings. 19 points out of 21. A massive move from the Bartosz Smarslick. allowed the race to continue. Madsen in second place, but he jumped the start there. The lead here is in Vasilek. Madsen closes the door and Dudek comes hard. Smarslik hard around the outside. Now Smarslik is going to take up the running. Vasilek has that lead. Smarslik is putting it under all sorts of pressure. Smarslik Smarslik. Brilliant ride from Bartosz Smarslik. Martin Vasilik there certainly gained there because Madsen definitely jumped the start. No doubt about that. Madsen was on a warning. Possibly should have been excluded for that, but he's on the rostrum as we speak. No question, that is a controversy. But out in front, Bartosz Smarslik going for a win here. Yeah, Smarslik looking brilliant and looking to lead the World Championship. Second place now, Vasilik having a go. Madsen, though, who definitely jumped the start, looks as though he's going to get a bronze medal here in Kursko tonight. And Patrick Dudek trailing off of the back in the latter stages now. It's brilliant. Bartosz Smarslik of Poland. Whoa! Whoa. Most 
most entertaining rider on show tonight, and that is a thoroughly, thoroughly deserved victory. What a ride from Bartosz Smarslik. Roared up the inside to get the better of Martin Vasilik. Bartosz Smarslik, I agree with you entirely, Nige. He has been the most exciting rider to watch and comes up with a stunning performance in the final. Not come on, the race continues. That's made a real quick start there. Bashir the Castle lead right now. Watch out for Sparslick in yellow! Oh, what a move from Sparslick, like a torpedo going into turn three on the opening lap. Just at the inside of Martin Bashir, took him by surprise. And uh, Madsen's out the back. Thought he might have had a roller, but he's penalised himself in the end. But what a move from Sparslick. He's hit the front like he did in the semi final. Coming from the outside, Colonso back in third place. Can Madsen do anything about it? Can he get himself in the rostrum? Smarslik with a win here will be level with Sai Fukunov in the World Championship, Madsen. but Madsen's come through into third. And now Colonso is going to try and return the compliment. One lap to go here. Smarslik has the lead. Vasilik is second. Then it's Leon Madsen in third. A point for Madsen will put him level with Sai Fukunov. Well, once again, we're going to go into the next round of the World Championship with three riders level on points at the top. It's Bartosz Smarslik who takes the victory. Wow. Martin Vasilik second, then it's Leon Madsen third, and that means that Smarslik is on 61 points. Also, Emil Saifurkinov and Leon Madsen all on 61 points, a three-way tie at the top of the World Championship at the halfway stage, and it's many congratulations to that fella. Brilliant, brilliant, Bartosz Smarslik! Who's going to get into that first turn? Smarslik's kept his cool. That's a textbook start from Bartosz Smarslik. But now, watch out for Ligbrok! Oh! Ligbrok just has to lock the bike up to avoid Zegar. But I'll tell you what, Bartosz Smarslik is super quick here. Saifudinov trying desperately to nick a point off Lindgren here. It's Zegar second. This is a huge Massive. moment for Bartosz Smarslik. He's going to move on to 103 points, and he could well be taking a nine-point lead to Cardiff in a fortnight's time. Wow! This is in incredible stuff. Smarslik superb away from the inside, looking great out in front. Emil Saifuda off the outside gate did not work. Got himself in all sorts of problems and finds himself out the back. Going to miss out on the rostrum at this rate. Got to say, Smarslik, wow. Certainly, this is going to be a defining moment in the championship chase. Bartosz Smarslik is on his way to victory here in Voyens, the first Grand Prix back here in five years. And Bartosz Smarslik is dominating the world championship now with two rounds to go. It's all over to Saifudinov and Madsen to try and catch him from here because Bartosz Smarslik has just pulled off a fantastic victory to put him onto 103 Grand Prix points, nine clear of Saifudinov and 11. Seven clear of Leon Madsen. He is the big, big winner tonight. No doubt about it, Nigel. He's ridden superbly well in the last seven days. Good stuff in the Bergring, finishing second there behind Janowski. Wins tonight. That's rock-solid form, championship-winning form.